and welcome to Study English IELTS Preparation. I'm Margot Politis. One of the skills in the listening test is listening for specific information. Here's a story about a process, making spectacles or glasses. People like my frames because they're individually made for them, they're uniquely Australian, there's an air of exclusivity about it and they're fun to wear. My name's Roger Henley. Um, I'm a spectacle frame maker in Adelaide. Um, one of three in Australia that produces handmade spectacle frames. My interest in frame making started in 1978 when as an apprentice optical mechanic, I felt I could make spectacle frames. So in 1987, I actually left my job and started a business of making spectacle frames. The frame making process um, in brief, it involves over 50 steps. I'll just go through a few of them. The first step is to uh, mill the front out on a CAD milling machine. It then has a joint, a heat sink joint inserted into the frame front. It is then heated to in an oven to its uh, memory set point, which is 110 degrees C. Um, and then place in a mould which then gives it its curvature or meniscus on the frame. There's a lot of information there and sometimes it's hard to hear the specific thing you're listening for. How can you prepare for this? First, listen for the keywords in the question. Look at this question. The keywords are who and Roger Henley. So listen for the name Roger Henley in the listening passage. People like my frames because they're individually made for them. They're uniquely Australian. There's an air of exclusivity about it and they're fun to wear. My name's Roger Henley. Um, I'm a spectacle frame maker in Adelaide. Um, one of three in Australia that produces handmade spectacle frames. My name's Roger Henley. I'm a spectacle frame maker in Adelaide. He describes who he is by saying what he does immediately after he says his name. My name's Roger Henley. Um, I'm a spectacle frame maker in Adelaide. Um, one of three in Australia that produces handmade spectacle frames. Look at this question. The keywords are when, begin, and manufacturing glasses. And because the question asks when, you need to listen for a date. Um, one of three in Australia that produces handmade spectacle frames. My interest in frame making started in 1978 when as an apprentice optical mechanic, I felt I could make spectacle frames. So in 1987, I actually left my job and started a business of making spectacle frames. There were two dates, 1978 and 1987. Which one is correct? You need to listen for words that mean the same as the keywords in the question. Begin, manufacturing and glasses. Um, one of three in Australia that produces handmade spectacle frames. My interest in frame making started in 1978 when as an apprentice optical mechanic I felt I could make spectacle frames. So in 1987 I actually left my job and started a business of making spectacle frames. We know spectacles is another word for glasses. Started is another word for began. And making is another word for manufacturing. So in 1987 I actually left my job and started a business of making spectacle frames. So the answer is 1987. Remember, when you're looking at questions and keywords, to look especially for what words. Who, where, when, which, why. And for information that will answer those questions. A person or persons, a place, a time or date, a specific example, a reason. And also, remember to listen for synonyms for your keywords. 
words which mean the same thing as the keyword. In the test, note how many words your answer can be. It might be two or three. You must not use more than two or three words in your answer. Here's another question. How many stages are there in the frame making process? Use no more than two words in your answer. Listen. The frame making process, um, in brief, involves over 50 steps. I'll just go through a few of them. The first step is to uh, mill the front out on a CAD milling machine. It then has a joint, a heat sink joint inserted into the frame front. It is then heated to in an oven to its uh, memory set point, which is 110 degrees C, um, and then placed in a mould, which then gives it its curvature or meniscus on the frame. The question, how many, tells us the answer must be a number. And what word is a synonym for stages? Listen again. The frame making process, um, in brief, involves over 50 steps. I'll just go through a few of them. Steps is a synonym for stages. So you could write 50 steps, or over 50 steps, or over 50, which is correct. The only correct answer is over 50. It answers the question, how many stages are there in the frame making process? 50 steps is incorrect because there are more than 50 and over 50 steps is incorrect because you were asked to use no more than two words. Another type of question in the listening test involves labelling a diagram or chart. Listen to Roger Henley describing the first four stages of the frame making process. The first step is to uh, mill the front out on a CAD milling machine. It then has a joint, a heat sink joint inserted into the frame front. It is then heated to in an oven to its uh, memory set point, which is 110 degrees C, um, and then placed in a mould, which then gives it its curvature or meniscus on the frame. Here are those four stages as a flowchart with words missing. You need to listen for what words complete these four stages. What kind of word will you listen for? Look at the first one. In processes, simple present passive voice is often used, as it is here. So, probably the word needed is a participle. The first step is to uh, mill the front out on a CAD milling machine. So, the word missing is the participle form of the verb to mill, milled. The second missing word is also a participle to complete a passive sentence. The first step is to uh, mill the front out on a CAD milling machine. It then has a, a heat sink joint inserted into the frame front. The missing word is inserted. In the third example, the gap is before the symbol for degrees centigrade, so you should be listening for a number. The first step is to uh, mill the front out on a CAD milling machine. It then has a a heat sink joint inserted into the frame front. It is then heated to in an oven to its uh, memory set point, which is 110 degrees C. So you should write 110 in the space. And in the final example, notice that the gap follows the indefinite article a. So you know the word must be a noun. It is then heated to in an oven to its uh, memory set point, which is 110 degrees C. Um, and then placed in a mould, which then gives it its curvature or meniscus on the frame. It is placed in a mould, which is a form to give shape to something. That's all for now. To watch this episode again and all the Study English programs, visit our website. Good luck with your studies.